Sky Limit Energy is a growing solar company in what has turned out to be the last few years, a very hot area. And with me is the CEO, Mark Sinalath, to give an overview of the company, talk about the industry a little bit. Mark, welcome. Good to see you. So my name is Mark Sinalath. I'm the CEO and founder of Sky Limit Energy. Um, I've been in this industry for over 12 years. I've established our business now since 2016. And I'm also the license holder and contractor for our business as well. So I hold license in solar, electrical, roofing, and general building. Uh, we are a service provider. We offer various services such as solar PV installation, energy efficiency roofing, um, electrical upgrades, and EV chargers. And we plan on expanding our product and service line in the near future. Uh huh. So this is mainly residential? So we're in a residential commercial sector okay. currently, okay. Uh, but we plan on being more of a utility scale mm -hmm. um, in the future. Okay. And then um, what are your plans, growth plans? I mean, this is an area that it feels like is getting so much consumer and government support. Um, how are you kind of seizing that and making plans for growth? Yeah. So as far as growth, we are um, uh, growing in not just in California, but we're our next state is going to be Nevada. We already have our business license there. We're going to transition over our contractor's license over to Nevada as a first state of as far as growth. Um, right now, there is a, a, a mandate in California uh, and by 2045 to be zero carbon. And uh, with that, there's a lot of work for us to do. And also based on the um, uh, statistics of EIA, which is Energy Information Technology, 20% of the U.S. energy generation is by renewable, and uh, that means 80% is being generated by nuclear, coal, fossil fuel. So, so there's a, a lot of work that we have to do to expand us, not just in California, West Coast, but nationally mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Well, and we know the infrastructure bill um, was kind of a big part of, I think, moving that forward. How do you, were you happy with that bill? How do you see that affecting your industry? Yeah, I think it's, I think it's great uh, going electrification. You know, um, a lot of EVs are being made by auto manufacturers. That means the solar industry is going to be huge as well because all electricity is being generated and somehow it has to be generated by clean energy so that we can have a longer future while we're here on earth and then also for our generation after us. So I, I think it's a beneficial uh, industry to, to kind of contribute back to the growth and also clean, clean energy, sustainable living. Well, and you mentioned that um, you were getting into uh, charging stations, right? So that, that was part of the bill too. Yes. Um, so part of that, we are able to install charging stations and there is there's actually going to be a lot of demand in that uh in the near future because all the auto that's being created and especially in California, um, you know, zero carbon in 2045 is a very uh, aggressive timeline uh, to meet. So with that, everything has to change as far as electrification. Yeah, no, it's going to be a major <laughs> monumental thing that the world really is going to go through. Now, mm -hmm. let's talk a little business. So you have a reggae offering. Um, and then also some support from the Department of Commerce. Can you elaborate on that? Yes. So we have a qualified and approved Reg A Plus offering. Uh, we're raising $20 million for our company. Uh, we, I'm also, we're also a member of the MBDA, which is the Minority Business Development Agency that's backed by the Department of U.S. Commerce. And, and part of that is to um, raise capital for small businesses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then um, the lithium batteries, um, which is another big part of this whole ecosystem, uh, you're also building those or how, what's your role in lithium batteries? So we see that electric vehicle is being mass produced currently um, everywhere, all over the world, not just in the U.S. And with that, uh, right now, the technology, how the electric vehicles is being operated, it's being stored energy with batteries specifically battery. It, it could be others as well, uh, but majority is battery. And what happened is battery technology doesn't have a very long lifespan in them. So they don't hold the charge or discharge as, as you know years go on. So what happens is they'll have to turn around, swap them, replace them, or even recycle them. But not all batteries are um, 
obsolete. They're, they're not fully depleted, so which means there's still some energy that can be stored there. So what we plan to do is utilize and repurpose those that can be uh, reused and repurposed for outdoor use as energy storage. And things, uh, batteries that cannot have any more life in them, uh, we will safely recycle it. Oh, interesting. Yeah, because I know that's a big issue is the lithium batteries and how are they for the environment, you know? Exactly. So, um, okay, so finally, um, Mark, just tell me a little about your your plans. I, is there an OTC listing in your future or like where would you say you're going to be in one to three years? Yes, so uh, our future plan is to, uh, whether it's OTC market or other exchanges, part of raising capital, becoming a public company raising capital is so that we can build infrastructure um, not just in the residential commercial sector, but also uh, utility scale and not just in nationally as well, but also internationally. And with that is uh, a lot of capital needs to be raised so that we can help get our world to sustainable living uh, much quicker. Okay. Well, thank you and best of luck uh, with thank Sky you. Limit. And, and thank you for sharing the thank company so with us today, Mark. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you.